so good. Why don't you guys go and uh, see the lab system? John, hi, how are you? You know, this go is going to be look. the largest life sciences. It's almost like yeah. on one spot. So the largest concentration of life science researchers. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Thank you, thank you. John, how are you? Thanks for coming. Great to see you. Oh, let me give you a big, 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 big. We often spend our time actually in analyzing the problem. But of late, what is very positive is that we have moved, I think, from analysis to action. And laboratories like this actually raise the possibility of accidental cooperativity happening, such as an enzyme action, to move from all the components being there but not functioning together to suddenly functioning together to another state. And therefore, we can switch, actually, from here to there. The only minor problem is that we are excellent laboratories separated by traffic. And if there's some way we can deal with that, we would actually start working together. The will is there, and the excitement of working together, and the friendship is there. And I think we can actually surmount the problems of a city uh, separated in this manner uh, by using innovative methods. Um, so I think that's really fantastic that we're going in that uh, direction of very likely working together, and rather exciting things will happen. So I won't go on any, any more except to say that, to add one more component related to what Professor Rao mentioned about uh, industry investing in research, I think that's happening greatly. But I'd like to also remark that industries such as Biocon have actually invested in philanthropy uh, amazingly uh, well, and that is also a model for others to follow. Um, uh, the Kiran Mazundar Shah Cancer Center is an example, and Kiran's investment in other aspects of uh, philanthropy through her foundation is also very uh, uh, creditable and, and something which I think industry in general will follow in a greater and greater manner. And that those ingredients, including science and the scientific institutions in Bangalore, could potentially transform Bangalore uh, in a cooperative manner, science in Bangalore, to make it actually very, very exciting across the scale from uh, basic to applied. So thank you all very much, and all best wishes for great science over here. I think as a company, we are very, very, uh, you know, committed to bringing um, new and uh, affordable innovation to patients. As you know, we are focused on diabetes, cancer, and autoimmune diseases, and we remain focused on those areas. And uh, as far as uh, our uh, future is concerned, you know, innovation is certainly going to drive our future. And the Pfizer. Well, I think Pfizer is old news now because I think we have clearly said that, uh, you know, due to a change in priorities, Pfizer decided to exit the biosimilar insulins business. Mm -hmm. And we will continue it on our own because I think we have a number of ways of taking these very important programs to markets the world over. And we will continue to, you know, look at potential partners. Uh, in, in newer markets and existing partners in, in other markets. Uh, are you in talks with maybe other uh, newer uh, partners uh, you know, to take over uh, the space that Pfizer is, Pfizer's exit has created? And you know, if so, uh, are you in talks with anybody? How soon would we expect you now? Well, you know, uh, basically uh, you must understand that uh, the big change in our strategy will be that from having one global partner, which was Pfizer, we will have multiple partners. Mm -hmm. So I don't think I can you know, share much beyond that. Yeah. But how soon would that happen? How soon give an announcement? I don't think I'd be able to talk too much about yeah, all our programs side. and plans because you know this is our silent period and I yeah. don't want to make any statements. Sure. But will it happen this calendar year? This I will not be able to make any statements. <laughs> okay. And uh, also, uh, you know, last couple of questions really. You are in the UP 
board as well, and you know the company has been going through some tough times. Could you take us to a high level? What kind of uh, uh, dialogues uh, are the board members are uh, going to, and you know what has been happening with respect to the state scene? Well, you know, basically, I'm on the board of UB. UB is doing very well. I think we're doing excess exceedingly well and that's all I will be able to say as a board member. We are very, very pleased with the progress and you know, amazing uh, market penetration that uh, UB peers are having in the marketplace. I think the UB Heineken partnership is very robust and I think that's what I would say as a